Hey guys, Nikki here, and this video will be brought to you by Wiggins Hair, so if you're interested in this bomb look, please continue to watch. So let's hop straight into it this is the box your wig will come in so let's go over everything that's in here there's a pair of 3d lashes which i desperately need there are some hd wig caps in here two of them to be exact a edge brush slash comb and it is purple and there is also an edge band to tie your hair with if you don't want to keep the box then here's a bag you can put your wig in when you're done with all of the information on there so if you really really love your wig you won't forget how to order another one so this is 24 inches this is the bomb invisible lace it's human hair and it is a cap size small so this is the wig right here it is already curled it is so bomb you guys know i love these simple wigs that you just put on the hair is pre-cut you don't even have to cut the lace it's pre-bleached it's pre-dyed everything is already done for you guys pre-bleach pre-plucked pre-cut you got that so there is a strap in here in case you want to wear it glueless which i will show you in just a few there's a comb at the top of the head and there's one at the back so you can have a little bit more security if you would like so that's everything about the actual wig so let's hop into the install the first thing i'm going to do is tint the lace with my foundation therefore if i take any kind of pictures on the flash photography or anything i won't have that flashback so let's just do that you just take your foundation in a big brush do not put a lot of foundation on your brush saturating the cap i think you can see where i did it a little bit right there but i'm going to even it out because when you put too much and you start to wear the glue and the gel and stuff to adhere it down it makes it slip and slide a lot so just put a little bit i am going to put the strap on the glueless strap excuse those braids y'all and this is what you have right here straight on the head let me adjust it a little bit guys i absolutely love this wig it's so low maintenance it is a closure wig and not a frontal but the closure is so big guys it stretches so far and i absolutely love that because you have like that frontal feel but you don't have to worry about those ear tabs and etc cutting all those off you won't be able to pin it up or anything but you do have a lot of space on your closure so i'm just trying to show you how it would look if i didn't want to glue it down look i can just brush this a little bit and i'm out the door but let's go ahead and gel it down because you know i don't use glue to give it a secure hold or whatever and i really didn't have to write but i just did this step so you guys can see how i do it if you're interested so i always pin the hair up first so it will be out the way without any interruptions i take that comb at the back and put it in to secure it this has got to be glued this is a gel though and i'm just gonna put this on the front and slick my edges up a little bit baby when i pull that cap back that forehead popped out didn't it don't worry about it sweetheart we're gonna cover it in a minute so what i do is just take the gel and put it along the perimeters right there and i also slick my edges down so that it won't interfere with the installment of the wig and it looked like i'm just slapping this gel on any kind of way but i got a lot of forehead to cover so you know it's not doing any harm so here's the fan right here i'm just gonna blow dry it make sure that this is really 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 dry or tacky not really dry what am i talking about it's really really tacky before you adhere it so it don't slip and bring you all of that residue and etc when you go to take the edge band off so child while we're blow drying our hair and pulling this back down wiggins has so many different type of wigs they have straight curly colored bobs they have blonde hair they have everything over there so if this is not your cup of tea just go over there and browse around you'll find something honey but this wig is bum this is an everyday wig this is a good work wig this is a good church wig it is a good wig guys i have zero complaints about it it smells good you'll be surprised at how some of these wigs smell when we get them yeah kind of like fritos or feet or something i can't explain it so i'm just gonna tie that down so it can go ahead and adhere to my head and yeah let's move it to the next step that's good and set in child it's not going anywhere anywhere at all 
So I'm just gonna make sure this is pinned up again because I don't want any hair interfering with the hairline and etc. So that's what I'm doing. And of course I'm just using a clip. So let's see what we are working with. Do you see how that looks like a frontal? So I'm gonna take the Even Spray. This is the purple bottle. It's Supreme Ho. And I'm gonna go around the hairline. Now this spray, baby, I should have ran it under some hot water. You see how it's spraying out? But we're gonna make it work. So the gel I used to adhere the hair to my head and the spray I used to melt the lace. Or you can just use the spray, especially if you don't plan on keeping this on a long time. Just use the spray, it'll work just fine. So I'm just gonna take this brush to brush this back to see where I still need to spray some spray. And as you guys can see over there, it need a little bit more spray. It needs to be melted a little bit more, so that's what I'm doing. So that spray got a little bit out of hand, so I always keep like a face towel with me so that I can wipe it up before it dry down because you don't want it to dry down and then you forget and you go to put your makeup on and it's gonna interfere with you putting your makeup on big time. So back to drying it and back to tying it down. So I'm gonna take a wax stick and I'm just gonna go ahead and make this as smooth as possible at the top as flat as possible. I really don't have to do much with this. You can go in and manipulate the part and all of that, but I really, really like this part already. It looks natural. Um, it don't look wiggy. You know how sometimes when we get our hair done and stuff, the beauticians and etc. spray the part, conceal the part so neat that it don't look natural. You know, and so this is a more natural type wig, so I want to keep it looking natural. Now, some wigs, honey, they know they don't be our hair. So that's perfectly fine with that type of wigs, but this is a more natural type wig. So I just wanted to keep it like it is. And plus, the less, the better. The less work we have to do, the better. So I'm just gonna tie that back down. I did put the lashes on that came with it. And yeah, I popped that off. So let's go ahead and put some more foundation on the lace. So you won't have like that white residue. And I'm using a smaller brush than I used to put the lace in the inside. So basically, that's it. That's it. And I just made it look like it has a lot of steps to it. But it don't. It don't at all. I'm going to take a big comb and comb through these curls just a little bit, but they was kind of perfect like that, huh? Why did I mess with them? I just didn't want like that tight Easter curl look. <laughs> Some of you guys like that, and that's perfectly fine, which I should have kept in here because they're going to fall, right? Right? But I didn't. <laughs> so I'm going to take the back of my straightener, which is a, what do you call it? A hot comb. And just go ahead and mold that a little bit and yeah we have our final look guys i will make sure i leave the direct link to this wig all of wiggins information and a discount code below the video let me know if you would rock this wig below thanks for watching bye